Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about the rumors going around that Han Solo could reappear in Star Wars Episode 9. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so I'm about to show you some leaked concept art concerning Han Solo and Episode 9. Here it goes. <laughs> there it is, guys. This is 100% accurate. This is so real. So, so real. I'm telling you, you've seen it here first. Uh, I know it looks good right looks perfect all jokes aside guys let's talk about the possibility of Han Solo Harrison Ford reappearing in Star Wars Episode 9 first off to me Han Solo is dead 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 and is never coming back all because of Harrison Ford now that doesn't mean I dislike Harrison Ford I really like Harrison Ford I think he's a great actor and I like most of his movies but if you know Harrison Ford from past interviews uh, you can kind of tell that he's got sick of the Star Wars franchise a long time ago. Now, as you may already know, Harrison Ford actually wanted Han Solo killed off during the first trilogy for a more dramatic effect. However, George Lucas didn't see eye to eye with that situation and kept him alive, and in that sense, he actually sold more Han Solo toys that way as well. So you might be asking yourself, well, why did Harrison Ford return to the role back in The Force Awakens? Well, if you look at a more recent interview with Jimmy Fallon, you can see that Harrison Ford uh, basically got paid a lot. Jimmy Fallon even asks Harrison Ford himself, did you get emotional coming back to this role? And Harrison Ford said, no, I got paid. Now maybe that was just a joke, but I feel like there's a little bit of truth in everything. As far as him getting paid, I have seen statements saying that he made up to $15 million, and if the film made over a billion, he'd double that. Now do I believe all these numbers are solid? No, I do not. I feel like there's a lot of moving pieces when it comes to actors getting paid for these big franchises, and we can't know for sure what their accurate number is. Now bringing Han Solo back into this episode, I don't feel it's a very good idea. Uh, I don't think he can stretch this thing out, but so far, uh, he's dead, he's dead. Leave him dead. If you want to show some flashbacks, sure, but don't even get me started on the whole flashbacks. I keep hearing so many flashbacks in this episode. Uh, they might as well call it, uh, you know, Return of the Flashbacks or something like that. Look, you made a mistake by killing off Luke and Han Solo, and now you can't have them all on the big screen at the same time? Well, that's your fault. You can't fix it with a bunch of flashbacks. And I'm not so sure that they should risk paying uh, so much money for Harrison Ford to come back, because this episode might not do as well as they think in the box office. Nobody asked for that Solo movie, and nobody went. And nobody liked what happened in The Last Jedi, so there's no more left to see. So why would we go see Episode Nine when everything's been tied up and done? In a horrible, horrible way. Many of you might be saying, ah, you're going to go see the new episode anyways because you're a Star Wars fan, right? Yeah, sure, I'll probably go see it eventually. I don't want to support Disney with this uh, decision because The Last Jedi was so terrible, but uh, for the sake of seeing it and then reviewing it here on YouTube, it's probably the only, the only reason I would go see it is to talk about it. Uh, whether it be good or bad, I pray that it'd be good, but, uh, I mean, how is J.J. Abrams going to fix this thing? I, it boggles my mind. Like I said, they're trying to, it sounds like they're putting in all these flashbacks to try to fix everything, but uh, I feel like it's a bad idea. However, the most ridiculous thing I've been hearing, and uh, this will never happen, but it would fix everything, is if uh, all of a sudden uh, Luke woke up from his Force dream and that was all one big dream. Yeah, but that's never going to happen. That's not going to happen. That's just too ridiculous and it would be too much of a slap in the face to Ryan Johnson. And uh, on behalf of J.J. Uh, Abrams, he would never do something like that. Uh, nah. Alright guys, so what do you think about the Han Solo reappearing or still being alive in this episode? I mean, Darth Maul did get chopped in half and come back, uh, so why not Han Solo? Is it a good idea? A bad idea. I think it's a bad idea. Let me know down in the comments below. Like, subscribe if you like Star Wars, and I'll see you next time.